Hey guys, it's Hallie. Um, I apologize for my appearance. Uh, it's a Sunday, it's my only day off, and I'm like trying to get this stinking stroller together. Oh my god. Like, I wanted to have the first three words of my video be, oh my god, because that would totally describe how I feel right now. So, I got with um, some uh, gift cards that I got from my baby shower um, for my brother, my mom, my other brother. Uh, my friend Jessica, my friend, oh man, there's a couple, I'm sorry, but everybody who got me gift cards to, uh, Babies R Us, thank you. So, this is the only place that carries my stroller, Babies R Us, um, a couple other stores have it, but they don't have it in that color, they have it, it's a gray coat stroller, um, I got it in Capri, they have like a whole set that goes with it, the bouncer, the pack and play, everything, high chair even, but I don't, I already have that stuff in other collections, so. I just got this. Um, it's cute. It's unisex. I picked it out before I even knew I was having a boy. Loved it. It was just really expensive and thankfully I still have it. I got it on sale and yeah. So the other color they have is called Pictor. P-I-C-T-O-R. It's cute but it's just not for me. Um, but it's the Graco Quattro Tour Reverse. It is not the one where the the bar that you're holding actually flips over. It's the one where you just push a button and slide it over and the seat of the baby excuse me, goes forward so instead of facing away they face you. Um, I think I'll do that when he gets a little bit older um, just because it's it just seems less comfortable possibly, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I apologize for my appearance again. <laughs> so I've been trying to put this stroller together, love the stroller, super cute, however, oh my god. Putting the wheels, the big wheels on, that's the first thing you do. Not that bad. Putting the back wheels on, not too bad. But you have to put the axle bar through. That's a piece of cake. The only thing is, I'm a single mom. I'm doing all this by myself. I am eight months pregnant on Wednesday, which is three days from now. <laughs> and I am so tired and so out of breath. I've been having issues with my protein and my insulin and my sugar. So I've been like nearly fainting a couple different times. So I'm ridiculously out of breath because that's just how I am anyway. Um, but I've been using my day off to nest because I did that last night until 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> just nesting, cleaning my room, like getting baby stuff together, washing all his clothes, um, at least up until three months anyway. And just trying to clean and get stuff organized and make it look pretty. And now like I just got the idea in my head last night that I want to completely rearrange my room all around because I don't like where I have things placed in my room. So I'm gonna wait until my brother comes next weekend and then hopefully uh, I can move some things around. Anyway, um, so I have this awesome, awesome stroller. <laughs> Love it to death. <laughs> um, so the back wheels, like I said, you put the axle through and then the back wheels just kind of like, um, you have to put this thing on the back of the wheel and then you put the washer and then a pin through it, right? And that sounds like a piece of cake, a washer and a pin. Oh my god, I broke this nail, this nail, this one, the top part of this one, and this one. I used to have like super long nails, and I keep breaking them, and it hurts really bad. This one is like completely, I don't even think you can see it, but it's like completely destroyed. And like in certain parts it's so thin that like I don't even know how it doesn't just break. Um, sorry, I keep trying to fix my hair so I don't look like I'm woofing too bad here. Um, so it was very frustrating. I was like asking my mom for help. I was asking her to push from the other side, you know, cause if you only have one wheel on and you're pushing against the other one, if it's not locked in on the other side, it's just going to come right back out. So I was asking her to apply pressure and I'm like, this sucks. Like I'm a single mom. I have nobody to help me. Like she's trying, but she has things that she has to do. She's a teacher. She's grading papers, whatever, whatever. Oh my God. Getting this pin through, I wanted to like freaking throw the stroller out of the window. Even getting the uh, stroller out of the box was difficult. I had it completely upside down. Now you know pregnant people, we're not supposed to lift more than 15 to 30 pounds. Me especially, because I just have so many issues, especially with like working out and breathing at the moment. Even walking to the bathroom is my exercise. <laughs> so I was like so frustrated. I'm sitting there like about to cry. And then I got so weak and shaky. I don't know if my sugar was dropping or what. So I just laid on the floor and I'm like, mom, come help. 
So she finally helped me get the stupid thing out of the box. I had the box completely upside down, like holding it, trying to shake the stroller out by myself, which I know I shouldn't have done. Hope I didn't hurt myself, but you know, I just wanted it out. <laughs> so I have it in front of me and that's what I keep looking at. And it's not like together, so I'm not gonna, I mean, it's not, it's together, but it's not like completely together. Like I'm still going through the directions trying to figure out like all the cool things that it can do. And my room is a mess, so I'm not going to try to like turn it around right now, but I promise I will later. Um, so basically with this whole pin thing, it took me forever on this one side and then I finally got it. And it was crazy because when I finally got it through, it just went right through. Boop. And I'm like sitting there like trying to stretch out the pin. Not a lot, just a tiny bit, enough to even get my nail under it. Because if you see how thick the axle is, it's not as thick as a dime. It's definitely thinner than that. Um, I wouldn't say it's half the size of a dime. It's somewhere, probably like three quarters the thickness of a dime. Um, circle wise, not actual width of the dime. So it was really difficult getting this super tiny, tight, closed pin through the hole. And I was getting so frustrated. And I finally got that one side and I was like, oh my gosh, that was so easy. Why did it take me 25 minutes or 20 minutes to do that? So then I was like, okay. So I went to the other side and that's when I had my mom, you know, pushing on the thing. And I'm sitting there trying to get this one through and I'm like, so frustrated like it's really really hard and I was like about to cry my hormones are like ah, you know what I mean so <sighs> yeah so it's all together now um, I'm still learning a couple different things and then the next complaint that I had I'm not saying anything bad about Graco um, I have not had any kids yet so I can't say I've experienced the durability and you know quality of their products but so far I'm totally in love with Graco um, my mom can't say it, so she calls them Greco, which is hilarious to me. But, so, when you go to put the front piece on that is like his little tray, the one that, you know, comes up to let him in and out of the stroller, with, I think it has two cup holders, or like a cup holder or something. Either way, um, when you go to put that on, it says to push in this little, um, silver thing. Now, for those of you who have a pool, um, you know, like this end of the skimmer, how you have to squeeze those two white things, the two silver things to get them inside the hole in order to take the skimmer out or in, in order to make the skimmer the pole longer ha <laughs> um, it's kind of like that except that's easier this one I'm sitting there like these are pliers but I'm sitting there like pushing with my scissors because I already broke this nail twice trying to get the pin together trying to get the pin through the hole and I'm like oh my god so I'm pushing it and it looks like the holes because you have to slide it onto one side through two holes and I'm like, I don't even think they made the holes wide enough. And I understand that everything has to be tight and, you know, very, very secure for the baby. And that's why it's so hard to put together. But, like, everything else was so simple. But it was just those two things. And then when I finally got that through, even with the scissors, I just snapped the other side on. And I was like, oh, my God. And I was so tired of being in the living room. We spend most of our time in the den, which is the room that I'm in now, um, which is what most people would call a living room. It's the couch and the TV. Our living room is like our game room, piano room, where we have the Christmas tree. Um, so I was in there, and I'm like, I can't be by myself anymore. I need to be around people. So I'm in here with my mom. She's doing her schoolwork. <laughs> and I'm like sitting here trying to find out all the other cool things that my shoulder does. So as I said, um, I will do a video with how to actually use the things in the stroller. Um, so that when people buy it, they know... like. I would definitely always recommend reading the directions. I'm not saying don't read them, but you know, if you just wanted something to do really quick, you know, I'll read all the directions and tell you guys the different things that I'm learning that you can do with this thing. Um, I didn't know that the little netting on the bottom was adjustable. You can like lower it or uh, raise it. And um, I'm not sure. I thought the seat did recline when it's in the usual position. But so far, I have yet to figure out how to do that. Maybe it only reclines when it's in the other, you know, flipping the other way, facing me instead of facing away. Um, so, right now, I'm trying to, like, do all that. It is, like, 60 or 70 degrees here today in Jersey. So, I'm going to try to practice putting the car seat in the car. And then I need to clean my room, shower, shave, all kinds of crazy things, and, like, do so much. And then I have to be up at work 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I can't spend forever or like all day doing this. And I even wanted to go to Kmart, Walmart, and Target, was it? I had returns. And I'm like, I just don't have enough time. I work six days a week, and I'm sorry, I'm whining. But seriously, I can't do this anymore. Like, I cannot wait until they take me out of work. Because I just need time to myself. Like, I've been trying to work on his blanket. 
I just can't. <laughs> I like I'm nesting and everything is just combined and there's just so much I have to do and I don't know I just get a little bit frantic because it's discouraging. I feel like I'm not gonna have time to do everything. So I'm still reading this. Um, it's in English, French, and Spanish I believe. Let me see here. Yep, English, French, and Spanish. And I um, I'm just gonna go through and read everything and I'm not going to make a video as to how to install the car seat because that's something that's going to be a learning process for me, but I will make a video as to how to actually use the stroller itself for those of you who are considering buying it and for those of you who already have got it and maybe are trying to put it together or trying to figure out like different features with it. Um, and then um, after using it and whatever else, I will gladly post my recommendations, um, whether it's a decent stroller, durability, quality. Um, all that fun stuff. Okay, so I just wanted to make a video to vent my frustrations, even though it looks scary, <laughs> because this was so simple to put together, but there was three things, the two pins, one on each side, and then the, the tray, which the tray didn't even take nearly as a fourth of the time as the pins did, but the tray was frustrating, I'm not going to lie, because like I said, I feel like the holes they cut out weren't big enough, and I feel like I had to, you know, I felt like I was almost forcing it in there. So, I will make a video a little bit later if I can, um, once I'm showered and I actually have done something to my hair, and I will show you all the cool things that it does, and I'll let you know if I have any more issues <laughs> or concerns. Alright, bye guys, have a great day.